mess of fish. We caught these in three hours with Pete Rubianis, Dave Ritchie, and uh, quite a fishing party. But a question that you folks might have when you get a lot of fish like this in the boat or on the dock is what kind are they? Now, we actually have three different species here, right, Pete? Yeah, we got three different species. We got king salmon, also called Chinook, coho, and brown trout. Okay, now, most of these are Chinook salmon. What's the easiest way to tell? When you glance at them, how do you know that most are Chinook? Well, I, I've been fishing so much, it's just at a glance I can tell, but I don't go by the mouth as much as a lot of people, but on the coho salmon, you take like uh, this Chinook here, you got uh, all the spots on the tail. Okay, the, is, the entire tail has spots. Okay. And, and you take the coho and they don't. All right, well that's a good comparison right there. Does that always hold true? Basically, yeah. And the tail on a coho is a lot wider, uh -huh. too, at the bottom on, on the size coho. Compare this size coho to that size Chinook, and the tail will be wider at the base. Okay, well, let's get a little smaller uh, Chinook over here. Oh, I see narrower right, right, right there, proportionally. Right here, right. Okay, and that, of course, this is a Chinook with spots all over the tail. And you look over all of these fish, you know, up here, look at them all, and they all have spots on the tail. Okay, and characteristically, you can, you can grab a... A uh, Chinook pretty well by the tail. Mm -hmm. Now we have a fish right here that doesn't have spots on the tail. You tend to not be able to grab it <laughs> by the tail very well. What is this one? This is a brown trout here, and the uh, characteristics of it is completely different from the coho and the Chinook. You, you can just lay them down and tell all the big uh, irregular spots on the side. Large sort of X-shaped spots even. Plus, up on the head here, you notice on the gill cover and stuff, you got spots. Mm -hmm. Notice on the coho and the kings, you don't. Yeah, and they're, they're quite large. Right. Also, the body of a brown trout is fat. Right, it's like a football. They call them football browns. <laughs> uh, some of your brown trout aren't quite like this. They, they can be narrower, but a good share of them are like, they call them football browns because they, you know, fat, short and fat. Okay, well, there they are, brown trout, a coho salmon, and the rest are Chinook. But Dave Ritchie? outdoor writer for the Detroit News. What are the techniques that you use? You don't always go necessarily by the tails. Well, I don't always necessarily go by the tail, but that's one of the major determining factors in my judgment of what kind of a fish it is. But one of the things that I go for is the color of the inside of the mouth. Okay, what is this Okay, fish? now that's a Chinook salmon. And uh, the fish is completely black, got black gums on the inside of its mouth where the inside of the mouth of a coho salmon, oh, we'll get the coho over here, is not as black and it's got some white on the inside and kind of grayish looking gums. Okay, and we'll compare that, get a look at that there, that, that grayish type with the blackish mouth of any of these Chinooks, even the big ones here. Their, their tongues and their gums are black. Now, let's take the uh, brown trout here. Okay, the brown trout is, is typical of all your trout. It's got a white mouth all the way around on the inside. It, it has no black to it like, like either your coho or your Chinook salmon, and that's a good characteristic. Another thing that I kind of go by, although it doesn't always hold true, is the fact that most of the time, at this time of the year in, in August, the Chinook salmon are really losing their, or excuse me, the coho salmon are really losing their scales. The scales come hmm. off very readily, oh, just like right, right there. there. You can take knock them off with your finger, and uh, often when you net the fish and bring the fish into the boat, the whole deck of the boat is going to be covered with, with scales that come off just during the netting process. It does happen to a certain extent with Chinook salmon, but it doesn't happen with brown trout. Well, uh, we can see that right there. The scales are intact on all of these fish. Well, there's some tips on how to tell the difference between Chinook salmon by the spots on the tail. The shape of the tail is one thing we didn't mention, Pete. Let's compare that right here. Uh, brown trout, characteristically, has a square tail. And your, and your kings and coho, most like well, you can see the V in here in the camera here. Right. You spread them out and they still have it. And the brown is just right straight across the back. Okay, well those are some things to remember about identifying your catch. And uh, tell you what we'll do, if you didn't catch all of that information, we're gonna put it in Inside Michigan Outdoors. Uh,